Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about a key expansion in AES. This is a bit confusing to understand. So, you have to concentrate much to, for better understanding. You know, previous classes, we already discussed about what is a key in AES, what are the rounds, what happens inside the round, all these things discussed in our previous classes. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so key expansion in AES is done using word by word. Word means here we consider word as 32 bit. 32 bit means 4 bytes. So suppose you generated a randomly generated 128 bit key. That 128 bit key is divided into bytes. How many bytes you are going to get? 16 bytes you are going to get. Assume that K0, K1, K2, K3, K4, K5, these are 16 bytes. This is the key which you generated. Now this key is converted. From this key we need to generate 11 different keys. How those keys are generated? Let's try to understand. So the first 4 bytes we take it as word W0. The second 4 bytes we take it as W1. Third 4 bytes we take it as W2 word. W3. Like this we consider it as words. Now this W0, W1, W2, W3. These co combinedly we take it as a key in the first round. First round means here N0. N0. The first round is N0. So this W0, W1, W2, W3. As it is we use it in, a, in our first round which is N0. Now in the second round, we are going to use W4, W5, W6, W7. Combinedly, it is 128 bit. We use this as a key in the second round. Second round means N1. Similarly, W8, W9, W10, W11 is used as a key in the next round, which is N2. So on, in the last round, in the 10th round, we are going to use W40, W41, 42, 43. It's W43, sorry, we mentioned it as W42, 43. So now you need to understand how this W4, W5, W6, W7 and all these things are generated in the key expansion. So in order to generate this W4, W5, W6, W7 and all those Ws, we are having two conditions. One is we take it as WI. Here I means W4 means I is equal to 4. W5 means i is equal to 5. If i mod 4 not equal to 0, then we follow one condition. If i mod 4 equal to 0, we follow another condition. So first try to understand how we generate if i mod 4 not equal to 0. Let's take W5. 5 mod 4 not equal to 0. So how this W5 is generated? It is generated from the previous word. Means previous word means W i minus 1, which is W4 XR with W which is above. Means W i minus 4, 5 minus 4, which is 1, W1. So if i mod 4 not equal to 0, then it is going to XR with the previous word and top word. In simple words, if you want to understand, previous word and top word will be XR and whatever the output you got here, this is taken as W5. Similarly, if you want to identify W6, 6 mod 4 not equal to 0. If it is not equal to 0, what is the previous word? W5. What is the top word? W2. Previous word you are going to get using WI minus 1. Top word you are going to get using I minus 4. These two words are getting XR and that is what you are going to get W6. So if I mod 4 not equal to 0, this is what happens. But what happens, what we do if I mod 4 equal to 0? So let's take this W4, 4 mod 4 equal to 0. So we need to follow separate condition. W8, 8 mod 4 equal to 0. So here also we need to follow separate condition. If it is equal to 0, what we are going to do, let's try to understand. For this W4, we are going to do T4 XR with W0. How we are going to get T4? 
the same thing t4 xor with w0 w0 is one is above top here also w8 t8 xor with w4 top how we are going to get this t4 t8 t40 that we are going to understand how we get this t4 and t8 and t40 let's try to understand first we will try to understand at the end we are going to do an example with the example you are going to understand it again see t if you want to identify t4 rotate word w i minus 1 t4 means 4 means i minus 1 4 minus 1 w3 you have to rotate word rot word means rotate word one byte you have to rotate after that you have to do substitution after that you have to xor with the r constant what is this constant here they have provided 10 constants all these are 32 bit words means this is written in hexadecimal 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 here 3 6 0 0 0 0 0 0 all these are hexadecimal now let's try to understand what's this constant what's this con you have to xor with this constant and the point you need to understand see here if you want to identify t4 use this constant if you want to identify t8 use the second constant if you want to identify t after t8 t12 use the third constant so these constants are used according to the stages 10 stages 10 constants <coughs> that's why they have provided 10 constants <coughs> sorry so now let's try to understand uh, with an example suppose if you want to identify t4 t4 you go with w3 take w3 assume that w3 is 7f 8d 29 2f because the word is provided in xor uh, it is provided in hexadecimal you have to rotate one byte left rotation one byte one byte means two hexadecimal numbers if you rotate it 7f comes to first 8d that's why 8d 29 2f 7f comes first after rotation take each byte one byte means two hexadecimal numbers take each byte and do substitution so the, the same substitution which we have done in our previous classes during the each round in AES, we have used sub byte. Sub byte means substitution byte using table. You take two, one byte and do substitution. Take the second byte, one byte, do the substitution. Two nine, second byte and do the substitution. Third byte and do the substitution. Seven F and do the substitution. So the same table which we used in our previous classes, the same table will be used here in order to do the substitution because of lack of space we are not providing that uh, table here after substitution you are going to get 5d a5 15 d2 once you got this after substitution you this will be xor with r constant because we are identifying t4 which constant we have to use we have to use the first constant this is xor with this first constant the output which we got we call it as t4 this t4 is xor with w0 then you are going to get w4 this is how we are, we are going to generate key expansion in aes similarly you are going to generate the next keys w8 w9 w10 w11 so on up to t40 w40 w41 42 43 in 10 rounds how many how many words are possible 44 words are possible because w not to w43 like that we are going to generate key expansion in aes hope you understand this class if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates